Okay, this demonstration is to show you how to make a pitch drift. Start out with um, just uh, voxels in the air, something to guide you with, 2x2, two 3x3. Two, three three. And depending on how high you want your roof, of course, is where you want to start this. Uh, once you do it once, though, uh, you can template it. And then, depending on how steep you want your roof, you'll make a second guide post. I'm going to make this one basically a 45 degrees. So you move it down. As far as you move it out. Simple 45 degrees. And make a second guide post here. I'll jump up there and we'll use the line tool for the second portion of this. And I'll show you the difference between on grid and off grid. Typically, you'll want to use the line tool off grid. We'll select some shingles here. Okay, this is on grid, and it's very difficult to put it in the right position. And one voxel just doesn't cut it. You need to increase that to a 3x3. Three three. And you notice that when it's on grid, it just doesn't go where you want it to go. This is a couple of different ways, and then I'll show you off grid. And again, it's just not where you want it. So hitting the G key turns your grid off. Once you have the grid off, it'll go exactly where you want it to. Okay, put one down and basically just copy paste the rest of them. You can use your tweak tool if you'd like, or just tab through your arrow keys here. Sometimes the uh, paste tool works just fine for you, sometimes you do have to use the tweak tool. And I am out of wood, so I'll just go make some more real quick.
Okay, paste in the rest of these. They went into the wrong spot. Again, Tweak Tool will help you out on that. And I think I'll get it here in just a moment. Okay, that's good enough. We'll highlight this part of the roof. Copy that. I'll get rid of the guideposts first. Just delete that. Move down and get rid of the second one. Then highlight your pitch drift. Copy that. Rotate it. Paste that. And there you have a pitch drift.